This workout has so much going for it. It is a no repeat workout. It is a supersets workout and it's also a full body workout. This workout's gonna get us super sweaty. It is gonna be super fun and it is also gonna be super effective because, so there's like a lot of super, superness going on in this workout. But that is because supersets are an amazing way to help tone and tighten and lean out all the muscle groups and we're hitting it all today. So with that, there are a few things extra if you got them grab them. One is going to be our wrist or ankle weights. We're going to use these for some inner thigh lifts. Another is your booty band or mini resistance band. We're going to use that for things like goblet squats. We're going to have a glute bridge and what else we got going on? Oh, a rear leg lift. So another thing, your box. If you have your box, have that. That's going to be for dips and push-ups. If you don't have a box, you can always use a chair, a bed, a couch, something to give you a little elevation off the ground. But if you do not have any of that, do not worry. You can do it without that. And I will have a modification for when we're doing those things on the ground. So with that, I think it's time that we get into our warm up. We're going to start opening nice and wide here. And then we're just going to take in reach, give ourselves a little hug. Why not start the day out with some love? and squeeze, good. And as you do this, think about almost stretching your back out here, keeping your chest up. A couple more, here's two and one. Now we're gonna alternate arm circles back. So one and two. Almost there, here's three, two, and one, taking it into a squat now. So feet just about shoulder width. We're gonna squat it down, hold it down, and then up. Down, take your time through this, and up. Keeping that chest up, down, last one. And up, we're gonna reach, hold onto the ankle here for just a second and then switch it up. So just warming up through the hip flexor, through the quad. Last one here, and then we're gonna hug our leg in and then open the hip up to stretch that hip out and down. So bring it up and open. And try not to fall while you're at it. <laughs> I can't promise that I won't tip over with this one. But it's such a nice stretch. Good way to warm up the joints. One more each side. And then we're gonna take it into a low sumo squat, get a little twist with the shoulders, warm up the back, the spine. So down, and then just drop the shoulder from side to side. Three more. And then we're gonna get ready for our first superset, which is Arnold press to narrow press. So grab your dumbbells for Arnold press to narrow press. So the workout today with our superset, there's gonna be about 10 seconds in between. So that's gonna give you just enough time to grab your dumbbells and get ready for that next exercise. So with that, we've got 45 seconds of work with 30 seconds of rest. Grab your dumbbells and let's do this. All right, getting ready for Arnold press. Shoulders roll down and back. Bring the arms up. We go in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Now the way that this workout is structured today is we are going to be challenging the same muscle group for at least one superset. So those two exercises will really target the same muscle group like right now, really working the shoulders. So that is gonna challenge us throughout, but remember only one time through for each exercise. So really make this 45 seconds count. Ooh. Narrow press is coming up next. So we're gonna switch that hand position. Palms are gonna be facing each other. We'll have just a quick breather in between and then we'll get ready to go. This is three, two, and one. Ooh. Adjust weight if you need to. Bring those dumbbells up. We're gonna go in three, Here's two and one, let's press. Exhale as you press up. That longer 
Rest break is coming up. It's gonna be 30 seconds. Oh my word, shoulders on fire. Keep that core engaged, keep a slight bend in the knee. You're almost there. Here we are, three, two, and one. Nice job, all right, going into our next set, which is going to be steering wheel into side lateral raise. So for the steering wheel, just one dumbbell for side lateral raise, you're gonna need two. I'm gonna adjust the weight a little bit. I'm gonna use 15 pounds for steering wheel, and then 10, I'm gonna try for side lateral raise. Ooh, 10 seconds out. Five seconds. This is three, two, and let's go. And down. Take your time with that steering wheel. Bring the weight up, arms parallel to the floor, and then twist side to side. Ah, that little steering wheel motion, keeping those muscles under tension even longer. Side lateral raise next. So we're gonna get ready to grab both dumbbells, go right into it. Almost there, three, two, one. Two dumbbells this time. Going in three, here's two, and one. Slight bend in the elbow with this one. Bringing arms about parallel to the floor. Ooh. Almost there, then we're gonna get 30 seconds. Ooh, this first half is all about the upper body. Then we're gonna switch it up to lower body and then we have an awesome abs superset at the end. Last one, you got it, amazing. We are going to move on now. This is where you won't need any weight, but if you do have your box, make sure to grab that. If you don't have a box, that modification is gonna be both of those exercises on the mat. Moving quickly, doing a push up on the box first for a little bit of an incline push up. Then we're gonna flip it right around and do dips. Getting ready to go. Here's three, two, and one. Keep that body long and straight here. So squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes, push through the heels of your hands. Dips are gonna be next. Woo, almost there. Here we are, three, two, one. Switching it up, dips on the box now. When you're doing your dips, elbows are gonna go back, keep that body close. Going in three, two, one, here we go. More intense, those legs are gonna stay out straight. If you wanna modify a little bit here, you can bend the legs about 90 degrees. And that'll take some of the resistance out of the triceps. But again, keep that back bum close to the bench. Keeping that chest up. Almost there. Here we are, three, two, one. Amazing, 30 seconds, no more with the box. We're done with the box for now. 
We're gonna work tricep overhead extensions with a kickback. So tricep overhead extensions, I'm gonna use one heavy dumbbell, then tricep kickbacks, I'm gonna use two. So have those dumbbells ready to go. Bring the dumbbell up. Three seconds. Here's two and one. Down and then press that weight up towards the sky. Exhale as you press up. Right here, breathe out. Ooh. Triceps are already a little tired from the dips. So we are feeling this big time. Ooh. Tricep kickbacks are gonna be next. We're about 10 seconds out. Oh my word. Listen, for this no repeat, make sure you're going heavy. Really work it. Three, two, one. Tricep kickbacks, grab your dumbbells. Back flat, core engaged. Bring it down, arms are up. Go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Exhale as those arms kick back. Keep the arms nice and close to your body. Control the weight out and in. So try to hold it just for a second at the top. Really maximizing your time all the way through. When we're lifting weights, every move has a purpose. So make that count. Almost there, 30 seconds is coming up. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome, all right. We just worked the back of the arm. Now it's time to work the front of the arm. We've got regular bicep curls, then into wide curls. So get your dumbbells for that. Timer is ticking. Bicep curls first, shoulders roll down and back. We've got three, two, and one. Let's curl. Really get that squeeze of the bicep at the top. Make sure as you curl, you're not scrunching those shoulders up towards your ears. Make sure everything's nice and relaxed. Almost there. Wide curls next. We're just gonna take those arms out a little bit wider. Here it is, three, two, one. So if you need to adjust weights, go for that now. If not, we're turning those arms out nice and wide. Here we are, three, two, Let's wide curl. Arms still staying pinned into your body here. Ooh. One more upper body exercise remains after this, or one more super set, I should say. Then we're gonna move on to the lower body. So really make these last few sets count. Here we are, three, two, one. Amazing. All right, we are going into a reverse grip row and then into an arms up row, alternating row. So reverse grip row is first. My arms are feeling it right now. I'm gonna try to, I'm gonna try to work with these. So with that reverse grip row, palms are gonna face out and away from you. But we're still gonna keep that core tight, drive those hips back, flat, back flat, core engaged, going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Take your time, hold it at the top, squeeze. I want you to think about working slow through this. Really get that hold at the top, control it down. And 
exhale as you squeeze and bring that weight up. So right here, exhale, good. Almost there. Arms up, alternating row is next. Here it is, three, two, one. Quick break, shake it out, adjust weight if you need to. <sighs> Getting ready to go, we're gonna keep those arms up. Three, two, and one. Alternate down and then row back up, squeeze. Hold it up and squeeze. So we're keeping those back muscles contracted right here with that hold at the top and then letting that weight come down and pull. Now, as we start to get tired in this move, don't let your back arch, don't let your back round. Think about sticking that chest down towards the floor, keeping everything strong. We're almost there though. This is three, two, one. Yes, we made it. All right, we're gonna bring it down to the ground now. This is where if you have your band, your ankle weights, you can put that on. We're gonna do uh, a leg, rear leg lift first. So we're gonna quickly put our ankle weights on for this one if you'd like. And then you can also use that band. Band will be right above your knees. Ah, trying to hurry. So down on your forearms here, same leg. Here we go. Lift and lower. Squeeze the glutes. Keep that toe down towards the ground so you don't wanna let your hips roll open. All we're gonna do is switch sides. Ooh, don't forget to breathe. Remember, just switching sides. Here's three, two, and one. Switch it up, and let's get into it. Here we go. Lift and lower. Almost there. Oh my word, bum is burning. Good, here's three, two, and one. Switching it over now to glute bridge. So if you wanna grab some dumbbells for glute bridge, grab that, and then we're gonna superset that with a glute bridge pulse. So you can keep your band and ankle weights on if you'd like. The ankle weights won't do much right now, but I'm gonna keep them on because we're gonna do inner thigh lifts after this. So, whew. so roll it back, grab your weights if you'd like. Weight stays in the heels, and here we go. Drive those hips up and down. Whew. Now, even with the pressing your hips towards the sky, make sure you're keeping a nice straight line here. So this is staying nice and straight from your um, knees down towards your hips and then into your back. So that stays nice and straight when you're up. You don't wanna arch your back and overly arch your back and almost drive your belly button up towards the sky. So make sure everything's staying nice and tight here, nice and straight. We're squeezing the glutes at the top. Pulse is going to be next. You can keep the dumbbell if you'd like for the pulses or no dumbbells. Ooh, going in three, two, one. Well, we're not going anywhere, but we're gonna do the pulses. So bring it down, let's get ready to pulse, get that form, get that position. And here we go, pulse it out. Squeeze, so little move. You just drop the bum down. 
Ooh, and then squeeze. So just moving, maybe an inch or two up and down here. Or if we're talking in centimeters, you got a few centimeters up and down, keeping the contraction here in the glutes. Weight is in the heels. Ooh, come on, pulse it out. Ooh, almost there. Come on, you've got it. Don't come out of it. You're almost there. Three, two, and one. Nice. Whew, all right. No dumbbells for this one. But you can keep those ankle weights on. I'm just going to take the band off for now. Although we will, if you'd like, add that band back on for the superset after this. But we're going to do inner thigh lift. So you can take that top leg, cross it on top of your bottom leg. And then we're just going to lift and lower that leg. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go. Keep that foot flexed. Really think about as you lift that inner thigh muscle is shortening, it's tightening, it's contracting. So we're just supersetting one side and then the other. Ooh. Almost there. So remember, quickly get right over to the other side. This is three, two, one. Oh, the inner thighs. So same thing, that bottom leg comes out, top leg comes across, and here we go. Foot stays flexed. Almost halfway. One, amazing. All right, you can add the band back on if you'd like. We're gonna do a goblet squat, and then we're gonna go into a low in and out squat. For that in and out squat, I'm actually going to, um, I'm not gonna use any dumbbells. You can also, if you'd like, take your ankle straps off. Ooh. Get this out of the way. But for that squat that we're gonna do, you can add, or for the second squat, you can do that. But goblet squat first. Here we go. Now again, band is optional if you are using that band. Make sure that the band isn't pulling your knees in towards the center. So you gotta keep pressure on that band as you drop down and up. In and out squat is gonna be next. Again, you can use dumbbells if you'd like for that one. Switching it up here. Three, two, one. You can take the band off as well if you were using that. It doesn't stay on very well because we're gonna go into a narrow squat and then that out squat. So here we go. We're down, out, bring it back center, stay low. Here's in and out. In, out to the other side. Good, keep it low. Almost there. Keep that chest up. Try to keep it just as low as you did from the start. Almost there, here's three, two, 
and one. Woo, 30 seconds. We are going into a kickstand Romanian deadlift. One dumbbell for this one. And that dumbbell is gonna be in the opposite hand for whatever leg is forward and working. So for me, um, my left leg is gonna start. Dumbbell is gonna be in the right hand. That other leg is back. Keep that dumbbell close to your center of gravity. Shoulders rolled down and back. We go in three, two, and one. Keep those hips square and pull. So this back leg is just there for balance. All the weight stays in that front leg. I've got a lot of the weight here in my heel for that leading forward leg. Only thing we're gonna do next is switch sides. Whew. Getting ready to switch it up. Here's three, two, one. All right, dumbbell goes to the other hand. That other leg comes forward. So for, right, for me right now, right leg forward, dumbbell in left, and here we go. Keep those hips square. So make sure you're not opening up and driving those hips back. Exhale as you pull back up. Almost to our 30 second break. Whew. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. All right, this next exercise is a reverse stepping lunge. We're gonna work on one side and then the other. If lunges bother your knees, I'm gonna give you a modification. That is going to be a suitcase squat with one dumbbell. So you're gonna work with the dumbbell on one side and then for that next set, you're gonna switch it around while doing the squat. You'll see that modification though on screen. However, if you are doing the rear stepping lunge with me, that reverse lunge, grab your dumbbells, first side, and then we'll switch sides. Here we go. Keep that chest up. Weight stays in the heel here for that leg that is stationary. Ooh. Almost there, we're gonna switch it up in three, two, that's one. Shake it out for just a second. Now, if you're doing that suitcase squat with the single dumbbell, switch sides for that dumbbell. Getting ready, other side, here we go. Oh, this leg is shaky. Oh my goodness. Oh. Good news is one, lower body superset after this. Then we're switching gears, finishing strong with ab supersets. It's feeling good. I'll tell you what, supersets plus no repeat. It feels like we've been working for like 20 minutes. Whew, the time flies by. Almost there. Come on, keep it strong. This is it, three. Two, one, awesome. Going for sumo squats next. Now, you can use one dumbbell in the center, two on the side. We're gonna do sumo squat. Super setting that with a sumo squat pulse. Can you feel the legs already? I can. Oops, hello. I'm gonna grab my kettlebell for this one. If you have a kettlebell, if you have a heavy kettlebell you wanna use, go for that. Whew, here we go, three. Two, and one, sumo squat. Keep the weight in the heels. 
When you come up, I want you to think about bringing those inner thighs together. That'll help activate those inner thighs even more. Working those on top of the work we've already done. But really press through the heels, squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes as you come up. Sumo pulse is next. This is with or without dumbbells. Depends on how your legs are feeling. I'm gonna challenge you to keep the weight. Maybe you drop it halfway if you need. In three, two, and one. Bring it halfway. We gotta pulse it. Here we go. And pulse. So if you're starting with that dumbbell, keep that form. If you feel like you need to drop the dumbbell so you can keep going to finish this set, do that. But if not, I want you to challenge yourself. Right now, this is an exercise where it's like, oh my God, everything is burning, everything is shaking. But when you push through, when you break down that wall, come on. We know where the change comes from. It comes from doing something different that you don't usually do. And pushing yourself to that point, I'll tell you what, it's a beautiful thing. Oh, oh my God. You can sing, you can scream, you can do what you want to do right now. Sometimes when it's like burning and shaking, I have to sing. And it's like, <laughs> Almost there, three, two. Oh, all right. Wood chop is next. We're gonna do a wood chop. One side, wood chop on the other side. You can, if this is new to you, start without a dumbbell. And then the next time you do this, you can add the dumbbell. But if you wanna add a dumbbell, grab that and let's get ready. So we're gonna start down on one side. Almost like a wood chop. Bring it up, chop that wood. Here we go. Come on, really use the power. Whew, right here. By the way, we, we have started the ab finisher. We're gonna switch it up. Three, two, one. We're just gonna switch it up. Going in three, two, here we go. does work the arms and the legs a little bit as well. Almost there. We're gonna bring it onto the mat to finish our two supersets. Here's three, two, one. No dumbbells. Bring it onto the mat. Bring it onto either the right or left side. We're gonna do that sideline crunch. So legs bent, arm out, and we're just gonna lift. Breathing. Did I mention this one was gonna be super sweaty? Cause we got super sweaty too. Super fun, super sweaty, super sets. Here we go, side crunch. And crunch, good. So that arm is out giving you a little bit of leverage here, but don't use the arm to try to get you up. Make sure you're thinking about minimizing the space here between your ribs and your hips as you crunch. Only thing we're gonna do is switch sides. It's coming up quick. Here's three, two, and one. Good, switch it up, other side. 
Let's go. So those legs are bent. Going in three, two, and one. Good, and crunch. Exhale as you crunch up. Remember, minimize that space here between ribs and hips. So squeeze. Almost there. Ooh, a couple more reps. Here's three, two, one. All right, we're rolling it over now. We're gonna superset a plank on our forearms. You can also do the plank on your knees if you need to do that. I'll share you a modification for you on screen and then we're gonna do a crunch pulse. So we've got just about 15 seconds. So let's flip it over, get ready to go into plank. Again, doing this on your forearms, but you can also do it on your knees, on your hands. <sighs> going in three, in two, and one. Here we go. Squeeze, holding it. Make sure, even though you're on your forearms, shoulders, elbows in line. So you don't want your arms out too far, too far back. Squeeze the legs, squeeze the glutes. Don't let your hips sag down and arch your back or don't round your back up. Nice, long, straight line with your body. Ooh, come on, hold it. Getting ready to switch it up to that crunch pulse. We're gonna flip it onto our back. Here it is, three, two, one. Flip it right over. Ooh. Going in three. Two and one. Here we go. Crunch pulse. Come on, right to the end. Elbows are open nice and wide. Just a gentle grip here behind your head, not crunching your neck. Oh, oh, oh. oh my word. Burning. So close, come on, keep crunching, keep pulsing. Get those shoulder blades up. Here we are, three, two, oh, one. You are super awesome, that's my word for today, super, because wow, that worked us in the best way possible. You are amazing, do not forget to get a stretch after this workout. I'll see you for the stretch, and I love ya.